Hey guys, it's Kay. Of course, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a wig I was sent from my first wigs. Just in case any of you guys are interested in the wig I have or wigs that they have on their website, I'm going to go ahead and leave all the details to this wig and links to their site so you can check out some of the other wigs that they have on their website. I got like a little short bob. I like it, but I don't know how I feel about the back. So let me just read off the details for this wig before we get into it. Now, this is a bulb wig, which I said already. It's a yakky texture. If you don't know, I love yakky texture hair, especially from my first wig. It is 10 inches. The hair color says same as picture, which the hair color, let me just show you. The hair color is like a brown highlighted color. And the cap size is a cap size one. Wait, let's get into this wig. So this is what it looks like. This is the back. The y'all see. Yeah, I'm gonna show y'all. Um, and this is the front. It does have a side part, but of course you can part it wherever you want to. I feel like this wig is gonna suit a side part best. I mean, a side part is gonna suit this wig best just because of the way it's cut. If you do a middle part, trust me, it's not gonna work out. It's meant to be a side part. So although you have all of the space to part, unless you end up, unless you want a middle part, but you'll have to cut the head to make it even. And a wig is already short itself. I don't know. Um, I don't know about that, but anyway, here is the construction. It comes with two combs in the front, a comb in the back with a little bit of lace and the adjustable straps. And it also comes with a built-in elastic band, which is not really working for me. So I'm gonna cut it off and just use the adjustable straps. And normally what I do with the adjustable straps is I strap them together and that normally works out, you know, best for me. <laughs> So this is what the wig looks like in the back. I don't know, I might have to end up cutting it. And as you can see, like the wig is layered all throughout the hair. All right, so I'm actually gonna wear this wig glueless because me adjusting the straps, it actually fits really good. So, I mean, of course the sides are sticking up, but that's a given, it always does. Um, but I mean, the way that I'm gonna wear the hair, which is a side part, you're not really gonna be seeing the sides of the lace. So I'm just going to wear glueless. Look how freaking natural this looks, y'all. That's what I can appreciate about my first wigs. They always look so natural. It's crazy. So, <laughs> I'm lost because it's really not anything to do, but I do think that I'm going to go in and add baby hair. Just a little bit, you don't need it. Like I said, the hairline already looks really natural, but, and I don't know how the back is looking, you guys. I feel like I'm gonna go across and like cut this bottom portion of this wig off. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think about how the back looks, but I'm definitely, for my own personal reasons, I'm gonna go in and cut the back. I'm going to use my Eco Styler Gel to lay down my edges. I haven't used this gel in so long. I did 
hip to go in and cut the back a little bit to me it just i just feel like it needed to be a little bit shorter it was kind of awkward and weird so i'm gonna turn around so you guys can see what it looks like versus what i showed you before so this is the side this is the back And this is the other side so i don't know how even it is but i feel like it's more better than what it was before so overall i really really love this wig y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below but if you are looking for a shorter um highlighted bob definitely check out my first wigs the hairline already comes pre-plucked the lace melts gracefully and knots are already bleached you don't have to put in any work and like i said when i got this out of the packaging the only thing i did was add my concealer and make the and made the part a little bit longer but it already came as a side part it already came straight i probably do need to go in with my flat arms in the back a little bit more but besides that i like it y'all it's real quick and easy especially if you don't want to use glue just make sure you get your correct cap size and you'll be fine and let's come up on the hairline you guys so y'all can see like look at that 